Our previous videos showed you how to create a basic registration, and then we showed you how to add questions, add fees. Now we're going to show you how to create a user selects type of registration. And in this one, you have several organizations, but you want to present one link on a website, or you want to email one register or register to link to people in your congregation. That's when we use the user selects, and this will present a list of the organizations, and then they can make their selection from there. Well, I already have New Testament survey, and I have the uh, registration set as join organization. I have one question, which is, how did you hear about this class? I removed the confirmation that was set by default because I want the confirmation to come from the master org and there were no fees. The settings has the location, the entry point. I've also added a schedule and a first meeting date and a last meeting date, the roll sheet weeks and the absence control. So this organization is ready. I've also created several others, but let me show you how you would go about creating an organization so that once you have one of them set, you can copy those settings onto the new one. Uh, I'm going to go to Organizations. While I'm on New Testament Survey, I'm viewing that organization. I go to Add New Organization, and this one is going to be Old Testament Survey, and the location is going to be in the chapel. I want to be sure to select copy settings from the current organization. The current organization is the one that I'm viewing. I click Submit, and I added the location, but it brought over all these other settings, uh, the program division, the schedule, the leader type, the organization type. Uh, I have a schedule that it picked up from the previous org, and the registration type and so forth. The question should be there, and yet it is, and the message has been removed. So this is just like I want it. Now I need to create a master org. I actually have several organizations, New Testament Survey, Old Testament Survey, Ephesians, and Surviving Teen Years. So I need to put all four of those in the pick list for the master org. So I need to create one more organization, and that will be the master org. So I go to Add org New Organization, and I'm just going to name it Wednesday Night Registration. It doesn't need a location because no one will actually be registered in this organization, and I definitely don't want to copy the settings. When I'm viewing an organization, it will by default, copy certain settings such as the program and division, the org type, the campus, but it won't uh, copy the registration type or anything like that. So the first thing I want to do is set the registration type, and it needs to be changed to user selects. And the registration title is just going to be Wednesday night registration. And I click save. I'm not going to put a registration start and end date because they allow people to register all the way through the, the entire semester. I don't need a question on here because the questions are on the individual organization. You might have a different question for one organization than another. Maybe one requires a book and the other does not. So you want to put those questions and fees on the individual organization that's the pick list. But speaking of pick list, that's what we need to set right now. So here I am on the registration, registration tab, and down here I'm going to click choose organizations, and that's going to allow me to select my pick list. I'm looking for New Testament, and this is the one I want. Then I want Old Testament, and there it is. And I want Ephesians. Oops, let me put a little more. Ephesians. And then 
surviving teen years. Now, this is the entire list that I want to include. You can include a lot more. I'm going to update the selected, and that added them to that list. So there's my pick list. I can um, click on any one of these, and it's going to open in a new tab. So I click New Testament Survey. I can just verify that everything's OK. I can go back to that other tab, click the next one. That's just an easy way for you to verify your organizations. But we also have the master org as a link. If you came to one of these first, you could use that link to go to the master org. So I'm all set. I have my pick list. I have the registration type. I'm missing one thing, and that is the message. I need to put the, I need to edit my confirmation. First thing I want to do is add one more person as an online notify person. And I want the, um, I'm going to put that name on the top because I want all of the uh, confirmations to come from this person, not from Ann Carpenter. So I save the changes. And then the confirmation for Wednesday night registration. I'm going to change just Wednesday night, confirmation for Wednesday night classes. I'm going to edit the body first. He's going to put your first name. Here's your confirmation for, and it'll put the name of the organization and the details. And actually, I'm going to move this up above the details. And I'm going to sign it coming from him. And then I'll put classes begin the first Wednesday in September. So that's all I need to put in the confirmation. I'll save it. And whether you're registering for New Testament, Old Testament, Ephesians, whatever you're registering for, everyone will get the same confirmation. However, it will contain the actual organization for which they registered. So now I click Save. Let's take a look at it. Uh, oh, by the way, this became a master org because I have a registration type of user selects and I have a pick list. So this has now become a uh, master org. And we're going to go to the blue toolbar, the gear, and let's check it out. I'm going to be logged on. I'm not going to test it all the ways that you normally would. We have a separate video for that. But here I am logged on. You see that my family is listed below. And here is my pick list. Not only does it display the name of the organization, it displays the date range, the start date through the end date. That's very helpful if you have classes maybe that you want to put in the same pick list, but they start at different times. Maybe one starts halfway through, and it's only half a semester. That's very helpful to have that information there. So that's the start date and end date. And then these are the locations. So you've got everything you need. These are radio buttons, so you know they can't select more than one. But you make the selection. You select the family member that's registering. You answer the one question, and then you're done. And you can register someone else. If you decide that, oops, I didn't want to register that person, you can toggle to view the details and cancel that person. Now you can. Register someone else and click Submit and finish it. So it all worked properly. Let's see what the confirmation said. Click Finish. And it tells me that I will receive a confirmation. So let's see what that looks like. Here is my confirmation. Note that it came from Jack Bowder. And it says, Hi, Martin. That's who I registered. Here's your confirmation for Ephesians. Remember, that was a, uh, an email replacement code, and it signed your ministry team for Ephesians. And the details are what he registered for, who he is, and the answer to his question. So it all worked properly, and he was enrolled in Ephesians, not in the master org. So that's how you can create a user selects registration.